Thank you very much, uh, uh, Madam President, uh, distinguished members. As you would remember in previous time that we met over the past two years, uh, I was always telling you about uh, our plans, objectives and our uh, future path for creating the energy union, one which serves the Europe citizens, boosts uh, our industries and preserves our environment. But at this point in time, as we are meeting in December 2016, I would like to say to you that our internal work in the Commission is now almost entirely complete. We have presented to you over the past two years the strategy, the legislation and the enabling, uh, enabling environment for turning the energy union from the catchy buzzword to the reality we live in. With last week's package, we are at 90 percent done with what we have uh, promised. And now uh, we very much need uh, the Honourable Members, the European Parliament, to make sure that uh, energy unit, union would become also the legal reality. We need to work together to make sure that we would uh, start as silly as possible the co-legislative uh, process. Of course, the last week's package uh, was uh, uh, rather a uh, big one. It has eight legislative proposals and some important political uh, communications and reports. So I would just focus on the three main goals. How to put energy efficiency first, how to achieve the global leadership in renewables, and what we can do to provide a really fair deal for our consumers. As you would uh, have already noticed, this package is bound to have a huge impact on jobs and growth. It could generate around 1% of increase in the GDP in the next 10 years. It could uh, spur investment of 177 billion euros and it would directly improve the life and quality of our citizens. On this latter aspect, it was very important for us to have a particular social component in the package, namely for those who have difficulties to pay the energy bills and uh, uh, to make sure that the transition uh, we are starting would be the transition which we can call socially fair. As you would imagine, because of the time constraints, I will not be able to go uh, into the details of the overall package, so I would just focus on some elements of uh, the new governance systems we are proposing. When we discussed it the last time, on the December 15, you've been very much inviting the Commission to present a legislative uh, proposal on the governance. We listened very carefully to you and we proposed uh, such a proposal. It serves three objectives. First, it streamlines the different planning and reporting obligations. And uh, we are making uh, sure that uh, we would uh, really uh, get rid of overlapping uh, reporting obligations, that we would uh, align the reporting uh, in terms of frequency and uh, timing. And I believe that uh, what we are putting on the table it, uh, uh, is in full accordance uh, with the reporting and planning uh, of uh, the Paris uh, Agreement. So it would allow us to continue to play the real leading role in the Paris Agreement implementation. Secondly, we've been very much calling up on increased transparency and more predictability, which we uh, introduce into the system as well, because we see them as the two essential preconditions to attract the investment uh, needed to fundamentally transform and modernize our economies. And thirdly, we are proposing a mechanism that is solid and robust so we can collectively reach all the energy union's objective, in particular the 2030 targets, and, we'll, and uh, to put Europe firmly on the road to low carbon economy and society. How we want to achieve it, the key instrument would be the national energy and climate plans, plans that have long-term perspective of 2030 or even 2050, the plans which would cover all five dimensions of energy union and which would be the result of the consultations with other neighboring uh, member states because we know how important the regional cooperation in this uh, aspect uh, uh, would be. We would like to make sure that uh, the work on these plans would start swiftly because we would like to see the final form by beginning of uh, 2019 and this would be uh, an important goal of my second energy union tour which I would like to start in February next year and where I hope some of you as we did it the last time could uh, uh, join me. Then we would have the system of uh, biannual reports and every year we would issue also uh, report on the energy union 
where we would analyse the overall situation in Europe and where we would also, if needed, e uh, issue necessary uh, recommendations. And I see that uh, time is uh, flying, therefore I would like also, uh, Madam President, uh, um, to pass the floor, if you allow, also to the Commissioner Arias Cañete, so he can go more into the detail to the concrete legislative proposals. And now I will give the floor to Commissioner Arias Cañete. The floor is yours. Thank you, Madam President. As explained by Vice President Secretary,